Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Detroit Skate Club. This is Larry Rosen, the voice of the Lake Orion Dragons, with my co-host, former head coach of Lake Orion Dragons, Pat Cherry. We're happy to have you here tonight as the Lake Orion Dragons take on their arch rival Clarkston. The Clarkston Wolves this year, well, Pat, not much bad can be said about these guys. No, um, they're, they're at the top of their game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're one of the top teams in the state. I believe they've only lost five games, all to really good teams. Uh, Brighton, a couple couple times with them in uh, Detroit Catholic Central, and they lost a couple games in the uh, Trenton Showcase. So Lake Orion's going to really have their, uh, their hands full tonight. Yeah, it should be a good game. Hopefully, Orion can hang around, keep the, uh, keep the puck wide, keep it along the boards. Um, limit the chances by Clarkston, and we're getting ready to go. Cole on the draw, loses the draw. Dragons pick it up. Number 22, Chirini, he's going to dump it deep. Wings all the way around the boards. Clarkston Ford gets banged hard by Cole. And Clarkston comes out one on three. Number eight for Clarkston. Takes it deep in around the Dragons net. Knighting gets pounded hard. Nice body check in the corner. Number five for Clarkson at the point. Puts it across. Clarkson, number three, back to the point. Wrist shot, blocked in front by, by Cole. Adam Evans, defenseman, takes it deep and puts it on net. And Graham Downs is up to the task. Number three for Clarkson, fires it deep. It's going to be a little hard tonight, Pat, because they don't have any names on their jersey, so I'm going to be referring down to this lovely, beautiful piece of paper all the time. <laughs> Puck goes deep into the Dragon zone. Dopke gives chase. Doherty can't clear. And it goes back into the Dragon's corner. Dopke doesn't go get it. Number 21 for Clarkston. Sandstrom has it. Sorry about that. 21 for Clarkston. Anderson. Dragons pick it up. Can't get it out. Dopke, number 17, can't get it out. It's held in. Big number 16 for Clarkston. Number 15 takes it in, shot right on that from the top of the circle. Graham Downs makes a nice save. Well, right now it's uh, been pretty pretty good uh, pace here. What do you think, Pat, for the first period? Yeah, what's impressive to me is uh, Clarkston had, had, has had all the uh, momentum so far and uh, got, a, got about four or five shots already on that. Oh, and that puck, Graham Downs makes the first save, can't find it. Lake Clarkston player number 10 couldn't get a hold of it, and then it just sat out in front of it and got poked by Graham Downs. Clarkson takes a 1-0 lead. Yeah, that was a rebound goal. You can only expect your goalie to make that first save. Yeah, and he wasn't sure where it was either, Pat. Is number 10 for Clarkston. Eric Waits missed the puck. No goal. Hold on, hold oh, on. Oh, they're calling the goal off. What was that all about? Maybe in the crease. Don't know why. Dragons lose the draw. Clarkson can't gain control. And Dragons are able to clear just into the neutral zone. Clarkson regroups back behind the net for number four, Brady Earing. Earing wields a full head of steam right through the neutral zone. One on three, he's gonna get all the way around the net, throws it in front to nobody. Number 17, Ryan Wilford dumps it deep. He's carrying it behind the Dragons net. Back to 12. This looks like their third line here, Pat. 16 pinches in for the Clarkston. Puts it on net. Number 17 again. Wilford has it. He puts it deep. Trey Damon dumps it deep to number 12. Brendan Rhodes. And Orion's able to get control and clear. It looks like Orion's just going to be happy to get the puck out of their own zone, Pat. Dragons yeah. in need of a change, and uh, Thurber throws it all the way down, icing. In on the draw. Walker for Clarkston. And Cole for the Dragons. Cole wins the draw back. Comes across to Connolly. Puts it up to Cherini. He puts it deep. Clarkson's able to pick it up. 
Hawks come out of their own zone. Breakout pass to number 23, Damian. He puts it to the middle of the rink, can't, and Dragons are able to clear. Cole gives chase on number five, Evan Adams, who dumps it deep. Graham Downs can't get control for the Dragons. And a giveaway right in front mm. of the net. And Dragons are just struggling to even just uh, keep the puck for more than a second and a half, Pat. Yeah, this is uh, Clarkson's fourth line against Lake Orion's first line. Puck goes off the screen behind Graham Downs and a welcome faceoff in the Lake Orion Dragon zone. Haynes wins the draw, but Dragon's able to just clear the neutral zone. Wolf, Ryan Wolford, a cross ice pass to number four, Earring. Back across to Owen Cross, and he's going to take it in the top of the circle, put it on Graham Downs. He clears it to the corner on a nice save. Number eight for Clarkson, Stanick, puts it behind the net. Dragons pick it off. They're able to knock it off the boards. Can't clear. In front to number 14, mm. he steps around Dopke, but Luckily, the Dragons were able to avoid a shot here. This is just a mad scramble. Dragons are just hoping to figure out how to get to the puck. Number 14, Wade for Clarkson. Goes all the way around the zone, back around the net. Puck's deflected on the shot from Wade, and Graham Downs makes a save, and Dragons are able to fire it all the way down the rink for an icing. Yeah, Wade had a really nice uh, move there earlier. He's their uh, leading scorer. Oh, point, was he okay? point, point getter for uh, Clarkston. Yeah, he was. He went all the way around the net, I think, twice, Pat. So. Yeah, he's got like 39 points right now for the season. Sandstrom loses the draw. Dragons pick it up. Knighting banks his man, but doesn't knock him down. Number 21, Anderson for Clarkston. Back to the point. Back to Anderson, he still has control. He fires a wrister, it's blocked in front by number 24 for the Dragons, Carter Knighting. Dragons can't clear, Witted bangs it off the face mask of number 21. Puck's picked up by Tharber, but he gives it to number 15 mm. for Clarkston. Moises, and he, and he fires it wide. Assistant captain number seven for Clarkston has it, passes it to the deep. Now Dragons are able to clear, take the puck out. First possession Dragons have actually had in the offensive zone. Sullivan gives chase, but he gives the puck away to Evan Adams for Clarkston, who just wings it to the neutral zone. Bassicow can't seem to clear. Bassicow working hard, and Clarkston dumps it deep. That should have been an icing. It was waved off for some reason. Dragons give it away. Number 19 for Clarkston, Johnny Walker. Famous Scotch, Johnny Walker fired it wide. Pat Clarkson just carrying the play here, Pat. What are, you, what are you seeing? Same thing as you. It's uh, it, it's going to be a long night. Cole, two on two. Can he get around his man? He gets bumped but takes it into the corner. Working hard, he gets knocked down. Dragons get interfered in front of the net. Or number 27 for, Clark, for Lake Orion. Conley got knocked down in front of the net, and they are going to call the penalty, I believe. No, that was icing. Oh, was it icing? Yeah. But... You know, the positive is still 0-0. Zero, zero. <laughs> you know, if you can if you can withstand this uh, this this wave, you know, heavy in the beginning of the game, maybe Lake Orion can kind of find themselves and uh, start getting some shots on net. Well, the first offensive zone faceoff they've had. Haynes in on the draw against big number eight, Frank Stanick. Haynes loses the draw. Clarkson regroups behind their own net to Trey Damon. He fires it right up the middle for the mm, long bomb nice. pass, and that's going to be an icing. Yeah, I like that's that. The, uh, uh, Pat, that's the uh, Pat Cherry stretch pass? No, well, if you, if you watch that, uh, Lake Orion played a 1-2-2 two, two right there, and, um, it, you know, it, it made them kind of get greedy and look for a long pass there, which uh, they weren't able to connect on. Okay, Haynes been on the draw again against Stanek. Stanek wins the draw. Haynes has it. Something I've seen a, a trend here for the Dragons this season is they tend to lose control and give and not and pass to nobody, Pat. They like to just 
think somebody might be there. It's been a couple games that we've done, and they've done a lot of that giving the puck away. Number three, Croston, the point man for Clarkson, has a lot of nice moves up there. Gets control. Dragons can't gain control. Big battle in the corner. This is... Uh, Clarkson comes free. Clarkson's number one line right here. Puck again blocked. Number three, Cranston can't get the shot off. Dragons are able to clear. Number 15 for the Dragons. That's Natavio. He dumps it deep. Cole gives, Dopke gives chase but gets banged hard. And number 14 for Clarkson fires a long shot. Ron Wade and Graham Downs makes the save. Cross ice pass, nice pass, but went to nobody. Dragons have an on mad rush opportunity. And that's dumped hard by Brennan Brown. Third pair defenseman, Brown's out there. Sullivan has Where's it right in shot? front. Oh. oh, and he just misses the net. Sullivan with the first real opportunity for the Dragons. And the puck goes wide, and the Dragons are able to throw it to the net. And we got some uh, little roughhousing there by number 21 for the Dragons. Doherty. Looks like we're going on a power play. And number six is going to go to the box. Yeah, they got, they got both Walker. of them. So it'll be even up. Five on five, I believe. We're calling Witted. Five on five. Witted for Lake Orion in the box. Walker for Clarkson. I think they called the wrong dragon, to be honest with you, Pat. Sandstrom on the draw. Sullivan on the wing here. Basakow on the point. Dopke dumps it deep. He gets banged hard by number 21. Clarkson gets control. Gavin Anderson clears. Kyle Lynch for Clarkston drops the puck to number four. Seems like everything Clarkston throws somewhere at one of their teammates is there to get it. Puck blocked by number four by uh, Basikow. Dopke loses control. Brown bangs it off the glass. Dragons go for a full line change with the exception of number five, Basikow. He stays on. Defensive posture against number 21, Gravin Anderson. Back to the point. And number 13 for Clarkston. Lynch dumps it behind the net. Picked up. Puck shot just wide by Gavin Anderson. Clarkston again. Anderson fires it at the net, and it's cleared. Dragons give the puck away. Can't seem to get it out. Two Dragons on one Clarkston guy. Cole. The two Dragons get tangled up there. We got a roughing penalty on, I believe, Lake Orion. Lake Orion. Number 12, Austin Maines. I think that might have been his second shift of the game. 8.16 left in the first. And the powerful Clarkston Wolves are going to go on the power play here. The first uh, special teams opportunity of the game, Pat. Yep. Uh, one thing I'm, <laughs> I'm already noticing is Clarkston put, is putting one of their big bodies in, in, right in the crease right in front of the goalie every chance they get. So, um, well, you've never done that, Pat. <laughs> so let's, let's see what they do on the power play if they try to, try to get a screen going. See number 13 right there move out of the way to the last second. Yep, Gavin Anderson from the top of the circle tries to throw it through the screen, but Graham Downs just makes a nice save. He's Holds playing, on. He's playing well. We're still 0-0. Evan Adams on the point for Clarkston. They sit up on the point, back to Adams. See how they got one guy right Adams in his to face. Anderson. Right there. That number, puck's blocked number, by the screener, number 13, yep. Kyle Lynch. He's back to the point. I mean, he's really backing it in. Another nice save. And the Dragons were able to clear. Yeah, the, the goalie even gave him a shot right there. I don't know if you saw that. He that did, was, I saw that. He got away with one there. Wenger, number nine, the defenseman, drops it back on an NHL power play. Uh oh. Number 14, he wheels little, all the way around. Yeah, he's dangerous. Back to five. Ab Adams now has the puck again. Mm. High and hard off the net, off the back of the glass. Dragon nice. Dream to Cleo one nice more time. Nice job, nice job. You're going to shoot it high off the glass and 
and not give yourself a good opportunity on the power play. Good things happen for those killing penalties. Ryan Wilfer for Clarkston carries it in. Puck back, drop back to number seven. Number 23 fires it. Another nice save by Graham Downs. That was a hard shot by Trey Damien, the defenseman. Damien has the puck again. See how they're parking two guys in front right now? The two defensemen switch spaces. Oh boy, there we go. Dragons are going on a, Dopke going hard. One on two on the penalty kill. Gets it just deep enough and Clarkson's got to regroup behind their own net. Gavin Anderson takes it wide. Puck comes up, dumped in deep. Given chases Cole Moises for Clarkson. He whips all the way around. Nice defensive nice play Nice defensive there. play by, number, by the Dragons. Carter Knighting, and we got six seconds left, and the powerful Clarkston Wolves are not going to put the puck behind Graham Downs on that power play, Pat. That reminded me of Dylan Rosen out there in the old days. There you go. Just get in the way. Blocked by Knighting. I nice. think Orion didn't realize the penalty was over, and they wave off the icing for some odd reason. Well, last game, remember, we saw him call too many men when there wasn't. Right. Lake Orion pulled their goalie, and... Really, uh, well, there's not enough officials on the ice to see everything. <laughs> there's only three. Okay. Clarkson, number four, puts it oh, in front. Nice. Here we go. Dragons had an opportunity oh. three on two, and Cole didn't see it. He gave it away. Or Sandstrom didn't see it on the three on two opportunity. Sandstrom makes a nice body check at the blue line. Clarkson gives chase. Number 13, Kyle Lynch, behind the net. Dragons lose control again to Vinny Gianni. Gianni, two on one, Dragons. We got three on, three on one. one. We got Sandstrom and Tharber. Oh. Tharber does not right. pass the puck on a three on one and a fine save. It's okay. But they took the opportunity. It was three on one with Sandstrom and Jack Haynes. And Tharber, the big defenseman, probably only has had like one shot on goal all year. Well, um, you know, the, the strategy there is, is you're probably not going to score, but what you want to do is make a nice hard low shot and the other two guys that are crashing the net for can look for a rebound. Yeah, but instead of put sending it right to the crest of his jersey, uh -oh, uh -oh. there's a long stretch pass. Nice oh, save. an unbelievable save on the breakaway by Graham Downs. That's a highlight reel play. That should end up on Bernie Smilovitz's show. Downs again. Making three more saves right there, Pat. Yep, that was one of the best saves I've seen all year. He's he's hot right now. And I think that's why uh, Clarkson knows that, they're, Gets that a, they're, they're up against a good goalie. So they're trying to, you know, get as much uh, traffic in front of him so he doesn't see the puck. Gets a big hug from his uh, defenseman, Witted. Cole on the draw, loses it to number Ooh, 14. Nice Slapper off the draw, another great save. Clarkson continues to win the battles in the offensive zone. Oh, puck was almost picked off. Connolly can't get Ooh. control. That's interference, but they're not going to call that. Number four, Brown gets walked by another nice save, save by Graham Downs. Now, he, when, 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 when the goalie starts playing really well like this, it's kind of common to see the, uh, the, the, the offensive team like, like Clarkston get a little frustrated and they could take an off, offensive zone penalty just because, you know, they haven't popped one yet. Well, they start to press a little bit. Right, and get frustrated. Clarkston wins the draw again. That puck's fired wide right off the draw. For some reason, Dopke doesn't go get the puck. He gets a defensive posture against Trey Damien, one of their, one of their top D-men. Puck comes out, Graham freezes it. Still 0-0 with about four minutes left in the first period. Yeah, I don't understand, Pat. Why would a guy on the boards that puck come to him and let the Clarkston guy go get it? Explain that to me, you're the coach. Puck fired wide by number 11 for Clarkston, Vinny Gianni. The 44 Tharber out, he comes again. Nice pass, dumped in deep by Conley. Tharber gives chase, loses control to Clarkston's Quinn Farrell. Haven't seen much of number 16 yet tonight, Pat. First time called his name. 
Puck's blocked. Haynes has it. Loses get. Number 10 for the Dragons. Doherty's given battle right in front of the Dragons. Dragons bench number 16 for Clarkston. Has the puck, puts it in front. Back behind the net, Clarkson has it. Point man coming in. Puck goes wide. Vinny Gianni dumps it back in deep behind the net for Brendan Rhodes, number 12. They get control. Number 12 for the Dragons, and Dragons just ice the puck. Season's about to end, and by that time, I'll have all the names and numbers memorized. <laughs> Yeah, I like uh, how Lake Orient's playing. They're, uh, like I said, they're finally starting to get their feet. And, um, you know, they're playing within themselves. They're not trying to do too much. And they've uh, kind of kept Clarkson off the board by keeping everything wide. Another fine save point shot by Ryan Wilford, Clarkston. Big number 15 puts it around. Can't seem to connect with anybody and Wooded gives chase puck goes off the screen right in front of the Dragons faithful I mean you got to remember Clarkson's one of the top teams in the state and since uh, we you know you and I were together last they I think they've improved I think uh, Lake Orion's cleaned up their game a little bit yeah they're definitely playing a little bit better we don't know how much better the offense is because they haven't had the puck in the offensive zone much. But defensively, they're doing the best they can keeping the puck wide, it looks like, Pat. Yeah, I see them moving their feet more and, and not, you know, using their sticks, hooking and, uh, you know, taking the, the, the penalties that we saw that against uh, Birmingham. Yeah, there's so far just one. Dragons are going to kill off that power play. Connolly in on the draw. Clarkson wins the draw again. They're pretty good at that, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Puck goes in deep. Number 13, Kyle Lynch for Clarkston has it. Fights off the Dragons defender. Another fine shot nice to job. save. Nice job. Dragons are able to clear. Number four gives chase. Brady Earing. Connolly can't get control. Puck comes number 13. He steps around. He steps around number. 87, there Clarkson, poke check. And Dragons just get it out of the zone and back in it goes and Clarkston has to clear the zone. Austin Maines has it, puts it up to Natavio. Throws the puck to Dopke and we're gonna get a uh, penalty on number 23 for Clarkston. I think they're gonna get him for an elbow or a, a rough. Trey Damien, number 23, the big defenseman, I believe. Going to go to the go to the sin bin, put Lake Orion on the first power play, Pat, with uh, 154 left in the first period. Wouldn't that be nice if they could get one right before the end of the period, go yeah. in one nothing? <laughs> it would be something, wouldn't it? Wouldn't be what we predicted. Cole on the draw, Dopke on the point, or uh, Dopke on the wing. He puts it in deep. Clarkson, number five, takes the body check. And Clarkson comes out, pokes the puck by, and they're uh -oh. going to call. Yeah, they just evened it up, interference. They're going to call Witted, or they're going to call uh, Witted, I believe, or Natavio for interference. Yeah. And that's the end of the power play for the Dragons. As number 15, Natavio, I believe, Stepped in front of his man before he got to the puck. And I think he didn't know where the penalty box was. So is this four on four here? It's four on four, yeah. Okay, so this is this is a little concerning when you're giving uh, Wade some uh, extra room to move. Keep your eye on him for Clarkston, this, this shift here. For Wade? Yeah. Once he gets the puck, he really likes to wheel and deal. He just took the puck away from yep. the number watch. five Here for the Dragons. Goes. See this? For Basakow, he's wheeling, firing. <laughs> he fires it high and <laughs> I told Graham Downs. 
Up to the challenge. You don't want to give him any more room than you, you can afford, right? Yeah, Wade, Wade's got some pretty good hands, doesn't he, Pat? Yeah. He's really smooth with the puck. Finally loses the draw again to Wade. To the point. Wade off his skate. He steps around Connolly. Looks like he got tired after that Nicole. last one. Yeah. Dragons are playing this like it's a fuck. Like they're on a penalty kill. Nice. And out comes Dragons Connolly across center ice. Get He's just going to dump it there deep, and go. Dragons are going to get a change. Play. 51 seconds left here in the period. Clark's the wheel and dealing Ray DeWanger. Dumps it deep. Is that going to be an icing? No, nope. they waved it off. Waved it off. Brown puts it around here to Natavio. Or to Cherini, I'm sorry. Oh. To Tharber. Tharber in the oh, zone. Yeah. Natavio regroups back from Austin Mains to Tharber. Tharber steps around his man. He's going to get another, sh mm. another shot on goal, but he loses the control to Ryan Wilford for Clarkston. Ryan Wilford drops the puck, takes himself off sides. Smart play, yeah. just getting it out Get to the, the puck out of the zone. zone. Dump it across to Gavin Anderson. He mm -hmm. steps around Tharber. Gavin Anderson rips a wrist shot, and Graham Downs makes a save and clears it to the corner. And that's the end of the first period, Pat. A period that neither one of us expected. Yeah, they got out of there. They got out of there 0-0, zero, zero, I think... Uh, Coach Batter should be pretty pleased with that performance or the result at the end of the first period. Yeah, they uh, they were battling, you know, on all the loose pucks that they could. But you could tell Clarkson's got uh, a lot of skill, a lot of big bodies, and they're throwing everything they can to the net. So here we go. We got 12 minute rest here while these guys go into locker room, have a discussion with the coaches. We'll see you in 12 minutes for period number two, Lake Orion versus Clarkston at Detroit Skating Club. Huh? We're back. Huh? We're back. Not yet, not yet. Are we back now? I can't hear you. Yeah, we're back. Uh-uh. I can't. Yeah, I think we're missing one of the headsets isn't working very well here. Oh, and we're back to live action. I just switched headsets with Pat Cherry here, and Clarkston gains control. Puck comes to Wade, number 14. Blocked by number 24, number 24, Knighting. Puck in deep. Did he? Yeah, he did. Hold on. I think we're working again. Can you hear it now? Yep. All right. I didn't catch that, Pat. He 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 uh, changed something, but didn't turn the knob up. So, is it in and out? Okay, we're gonna make a change here. Hold on a second. We're doing a little technical difficulty. Well, Clarkson's. Right, yeah, Clarkson scored right off the draw. Okay. And we're one nothing, Clarkson. We were missing it. We had a little technical difficulty. So Graham Downs can't stop everything, Pat. I like these headphones a lot better. Now Pat has mine, and they're not working real well. Main's behind the net for Clark for Lake Orion. He dumps it around. Dragon Cherini can't get it out. To Natavio to Cherini. Cherini has control in the neutral zone. Puts it to Connolly. Connolly dumps it deep to Cole. Cole has it. Loses it. Cherini has it. Fires it around behind the net. Back to Natavio at the point. That puck is blocked by number 21 for Clarkston. And Clarkston comes up one on two. Puck goes in deep. And Coyle Moses gives chase. And number 13 for Clarkston. Fires at Kyle Lynch. Fires it high and wide. So hard it comes all the way back down into the Clarkston zone. Number five for Clarkson. That defenseman's pretty darn good skater, Pat. Yeah, they got uh, 
You know, they got a lot of momentum, just like the, the, the start of the first period. But that, that goal got waved off. Number 12 for Clarkston. Brendan Rhodes has it behind the net. He loses it to number 87, Jack Haynes. Haynes dumps it around, can't seem to get it out. And Dopke doesn't see it or he would have had a one-on-one. -on -one. Doherty's skates towards 16. Oh, and there's a trip on in the middle of the ice, but it was inadvertent, so they're not going to call that. And Doherty fires it high and wide over to Clarkson goaltender. Brady Damien. Number 12 for Clarkston carries it in. Puck goes wide of Graham Downs. Dopke knocks his guy down in front of the net, and he got away with one. Did you see that, Pat? Yeah. They're, again, they're trying to get a lot of traffic in front of uh, Lake Orion's netminder. Thurber behind his own net. He puts it up off the boards and hands it right to the Clarkston D-man. And number six for Clarkston loses control. Walker, and it gets on Logan Golub's stick, number 12, and he fires it over the left glove of Graham Downs. And here we are, just like that, less than three minutes into the second period, and Clarkson's jumped out to a two-goal lead, Pat. What are you seeing? Yeah, they're just, uh, they've got a lot of jump in their step right now, and um, they're throwing everything they can at the net. Clarkson goal is scored by number seven, Logan Gallup. It's working out for Clarkson right now. Time to the goal, 14.35. That's Clarkston's goal unassisted. Number six for Clarkston. George Walker regroups, throws it in. Number 11 fires it on the net. Graham Downs is able to make the save and hold on. Faceoff will come right of, come to the left of Lake Orion's goalie, Graham Downs. The other thing I'm seeing, Pat, is Lake Orion is really struggling in the faceoff circle. Hmm. And if you can't get control on the draw, just like that, another one right back to the point. Brady Earing has it to the half boards. And one. just like that, that was the uh, Ron Wade with another another point here, Pat. Yeah, just like you spoke, you got to win those draws. Uh, and they didn't. They made a few nice passes, and then it ended up in the net. Yep. Uh, Graham Downs was was down on his knees, and the puck was flipped over, I believe, by number three. He's been all over the ice today as well, Pat. What's his? What's uh? How many goals does that Cronston have for Clarkston? Number three. And number four, Brady Earring. He's uh, got well, now 16 goals here on the season. That's a, that's a pretty good high school season, don't you think? Yeah, he's leading their, uh, he's third in points on their team with 26. Okay, because that was a quality shot right over the, I mean, short. Yeah, yeah. Um, from what we saw, close quarter shot right over the, right over the goalie's shoulders. Yep. Pretty good shot. So Cole on the draw, left of Graham Downs. Against again, Owen Cronston. Let's see who can, or number 13, Lynch. Kyle Lynch, he wins the draw to number five, and, he, and uh, Adams fires it, and Graham Downs is up to the task there. Cherini with a super hard pass to Connolly. Connolly trying to take it wide. He loses control to the Clarkson D man. It comes behind the Clarkson net to number 21, uh, Gavin Anderson, and Clarkson's able to clear. Nice pass. Natavio to Dopke and a perfect pass. Dopke can't get control. And the Dragons dump it deep and make a change. Evan Adams for Clarkston wheels it through the neutral zone. Takes it wide. Gets bumped off the puck. He drops the puck for uh, his, his forward mate. Number 15 for Clarkston fires it. That puck is blocked by Natavio. Number 5 for Clarkson again. Puts it on number 15 stick. And there you're going to get a penalty right there yeah. on Cole for sticking his knee out and taking down Cole Moises, senior forward for Clarkston. Tall fella. Mm -hmm. And going to the box is uh, alternate captain, number 9, Ryan Cole. They're probably their top center, Pat, is in the sin bin. Dopke in on a draw against Kyle Lynch. Lynch wins the draw. Back to Adams. Let's keep an eye on 14 here. Adams 14 again with the puck. Hung, he's hungry. Slap shot. Deflected high and off the ceiling. 
He sees all his teammates getting goals and uh, he wants one he's bad. He's hungry. In on the draw one more time. Because I wouldn't have said that was the best shot to take on the power. Kyle play Lynch right from there. Dopke. Lynch actually wins the Dopke wins the draw, but Clarkson gains control. Crotson has it to Evan Adams. He walks the blue line. Wrist shot high and wide. Not another, another not good shot. Doherty gets stepped around on the blue line. Gets a stick knocked out of his hand by Clarkson player. Number five once again, Evan Adams with the puck to Gavin Anderson. Across to Wade, 14. I've noticed. Wade switches places with Cranston. When Wade, when Wade is stopped, he doesn't do anything with the puck. He likes to keep moving like a shark. Yeah, I, guess I see that. Wade again with the puck. Keep an eye on him. See how Back to Adams. Moving. Back to Adams. Adams to Wade. Wade gets bumped off the puck. Doesn't lose control. Pretty good play by Knighting. He bumps Wade off the puck to Cronston. To Adams on the point. Back to Cronston, the big fella at the hash marks. Fires it on ah. that. On a double screen. Off the inside right pad of Graham Downs and in the back of the net. I think that was Cronston again, Pat. And they just worked the puck around beautifully on the left side here, right in front of the Clarkston home faithful. Yeah, that caught... Uh our goalie off 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 guard there. He did, he didn't he didn't see that shot coming because he was screened. So four nothing, four quick goals, less than six minutes into the second period, and uh, something we uh, Clarkson just a good club, Pat. They're pretty well pretty well put together. Yeah, Downs has got his work cut out for him tonight. Yep, Dragons get control, Brown to Cherini. Cherini has a puck. Definitely one of the Dragons' top skaters is Cherini. Cole can't get control. Brown, the D-man, steps up. But Clarkston now has again control, Eric Wade, the other Wade. Wade, two, off his shin guard to Vinny Cianani. Cianni. And number 19 for Clarkson, Johnny Walker. Famous scotch. Number 10, Wade fires it. Puck's blocked by Cole. Natavio doesn't go for the puck. Bassacow gets bumped off of it in the corner. Clarkson gains control again. Big number 12 for Clarkson. Brendan Rhodes to number 11. Nice, He's nice in screen in front of the net, yeah. and it goes to the corner. He was Con almost in the crease there. He was. Conley picks up the puck and just happy to dump it in for an icing. Need a little communication out there. Conley had a good one-on-one -on -one opportunity, but instead of trying to get in the zone, Pat, he just iced the puck. Mm -hmm. You know, the difference is, is you watch uh, when Lake Orion's got the puck in the neutral zone, Clarkston's D are stepping up on him immediately, and Lake Orion, on the other on the other hand, they uh, they sit back. That was offside. Yep. Lake Orion loses the draw. Clarkston gains control, but Natavio for Lake Orion has it. He's going to carry it out, pass a couple of his own players. And like you just said, they get the neutral zone, and Clarkston presses Lake Orion every second of the way. Right, and we tend to sit back and, and let him. Logan Galoob, one of the goal scorers, dumps it to number 22. Galoob again has it, almost gets the puck. Sullivan gives chase. Clarkston has it, and they're going to call Clarkston for a high stick in front of the net, it appears. Um, don't know who the player going is. Looks like number seven, goal scorer Galoob, <laughs> or Golub. And Lake Orion going on the power play. 10.04 left in the second here at Detroit Skating Club. I think we're seeing what we thought we were going to see out of the Clarkston team tonight, Pat. Yeah, it's... Uh, this game could end early if they don't start turning things around. I can get a good night's sleep if it does. <laughs> Cherini in the corner loses control. Clarks is able to whip it all the way around. Hopefully Knighting can hold it in. He does. But he dumps it in. Evan Adams picks the puck up. And Clarks is able to clear. Cherini has it. Regroup pass back to number five, Basikow. He steps around Wade. Wade gives chase. Puck comes to Cole. He dumps it deep. Number 27 for Lake Orion. 
Kyle Conley gives chase, but the puck comes out to number three, Big Kronz, and he steps around Basakow and gives up since he's on the penalty kill. Goes for a line change. Carter Knighting wheeled it through the neutral zone, full, full head of steam. He steps around number five, Knighting does. Oh. Puts it in front, and the Lake Orion Dragon player, just gonna number get, 21, just got, just got a penalty for being Re stupid. Retaliating. He got pushed into the net and he got frustrated and kind of came back with a, yeah, Colin Sands either a slash or a cross check. Yeah, I'm you said sure. it, Pat. I mean, he, he, he's mad at the Clarkson guy for making a nice play. You know, that's what uh, they teach these days, you know, play the man in front of the net. Yeah, you can see Nick's a little frustrated over there on the bench, Coach Bader. Lake Orion, Lake Orion he, wins the draw. You don't want to take an uh, uh, offensive zone penalty. <laughs> no. On a on the power play, no less. Yeah. So number eight for Clarkston with the puck. Frank Stanek not heard not called his name much tonight. He still has control. Puts it to number 16. He fires the puck on Graham Downs and he gets control. Dopke, four on four situation, doesn't get it out of the zone. He puts his shoulder into his man. Three on two for Lake Orion if he goes, but Maines doesn't go with him. Ottavio puts a couple moves on the Clarkson guys and he gives the puck away to somebody really, really fast. Looks like number four, Brady Earing. He can't get around his Dragons man, Dopke. Dopke gives up the puck, takes the hit. Little high stick battle in the corner. Ottavio comes out with the puck for Lake Orion. Ottavio throws it in behind Number 87, Haynes, he gives chase to Clarkston's Evan Adams, who regroups behind his own net, full head of steam. Number Ice. 16, stretch pass, but that's going to be an icing. an icing. Yep, Clarkston on the power play now. And Clarkston on the power play now. For 50 seconds. And Clarkston's not taking their foot off the gas, Pat. Look at the line they have out there. No, you know, they, I think they only have two games left in their season, so they're trying to tune everything up right before the state playoffs here. They're trying to get into peak form. Number 14, Ron Wade drops it back. Wade picks it up on an NHL-style power play break-in. Wade steps around Doherty. Steps around Brown to the point. To Evan Adams. He sets up to number 21. Hard wrist shot, blocked. Dragons are able to clear. Nice Clarkson's clear. got to give chase. Evan Adams back behind his own net. Goalie Damien sets a puck up nice for him. Back spinorama move by Evan Adams. He gains control. Wade at the point wide open doesn't get the puck. And Graham Downs makes a nice save. Number 21 for Clarkston. He regroups Gavin Anderson in the corner for for uh, Croston to Anderson, and that puck's deflected off the netting behind Graham Downs. So we're going to have a faceoff to the right of Graham Downs. 6:49 left in the second period. Pat. Yeah, last time they met, uh, it was right 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 around the holidays, and uh, Clarkston beat Lake Orion six to one in that game. Well, Lake Orion once again loses the draw but gains control this time. Puck comes, rolls all the way down to Damien. Clarkson number 11 just dumps it around to his, to his uh, teammate Ronan Howard, number 22. Ronan, pretty big guy, gets in past Doherty. Behind the net, loses control to Carter Knighting. Darber dumps it to Doherty and Doherty Gets hit hard, and I don't know who that was. Is that Wade? Well, that was number 11 for Clarkston. Just didn't actually check him, just put his shoulder down and turned on the Jets. And Clarkston's going to ice the puck, and it's not going to get all the way down. Austin Maines with the, with the puck behind Dragon's net. He reverses control to Sullivan. Touch pass to number 87 for the Dragons. Haynes, and he loses control. 
Sullivan's going to give chase, and Doherty and Haynes are going for a line change. Two Dragons glide in front of the Clarkston net, and Clarkston's number, we're going to get 2,700 men on the ice. No, looks we're like going to get slash. it. Looks like a slash on. That was a behind the play slash. Puck was over here, Pat, yep. in front of the penalty box, and the slash took place in front of the bench. Number 11 for Clarkston, I believe. Yeah, let's we'll see if Lake Ore can pop one here. Number 11 for Clarkston was getting an explanation. Vinny Cianini. Clarkston penalty number 11, Vinny Cianini. Yeah, Cianini. He must have gone to a Fanatics class. Nick Batter calls timeout. Will you give me some strategy to that, Pat? Yeah. I don't know why he's doing that, to be honest with you. Um, I, I, the only thing I can think of is, uh, you know, maybe he wants to rest his top line and give him a breather, draw something up, and uh, see what they can do. Well, let's uh, give a shout-out to a couple of these sponsors in this program here. So, uh, hey, thanks for Escape Pros. Remember Earl Size? Yeah. Earl Size. Yeah. Well, that was, he worked for Earl. This oh, okay. Is, this is Lewis over there on Dixie Highway. All right. Skate Pros. Does an excellent job sharpening skates. If you can get past some other things, because I think he lives in the same place he sharps skates. And that's all the stuff we're going to read out of I here I saw tonight. Sagebrush in there. Nobody's ever tried Sagebrush Cantina. That's a great Mexican restaurant. Gonna want to definitely give that a shot if you can get in there. Also, Johnny Black's Public House. We got two of those in Lake Orion. One on Baldwin and uh, Johnny Black's on the lake, which is right in downtown Lake Orion. Nice. Black Dragons on the power play after their timeout. They win the draw. Conley gives Chase three Dragons on one. Hmm. And Clarkson's able to clear oh. and the Dragons have pulled their goalie. Six on five, six on four. Interesting strategy by Nick well, that's, Batter. That's why he called the, the, the timeout. To explain exactly what he wanted to see. I know 14, Wade, is looking to get that puck and yep. beef up his points. He is, and Chirini dumps it deep. There he goes. And Wade can't seem to get it all the way down. Dopke picks up the puck at center ice. It's slapped off his stick by Cronston. And Dopke with a full head of steam skates right past Cole. He's going in past center ice. He throws a fist up in number five's face, Evan Adams. And Clarkson's able to clear. Chirini sends, Dop sends Tavio after the puck. And Clarkson's going to give uh -oh. chase and lose control, but Tavio's got it, puts it in front of his own net. And there's a big hit by number eight. And Conley has it, or Cole has it, can't get control. Can't keep control anyway. Dragons have to clear. Cole's now cleared. And number five, Evan Adams for Clarkson sets <laughs> this, up behind his this, own net. This is pretty dangerous because to try to get your goalie out when you're on the other side of the ice is really tough. And that was when Tavio makes a nice nice leg save. Dopke, Dopke needs to get off the ice. He's been out here for the whole time. Well, mm -hmm. they needed that whistle because they could put their, their... Oh, we got another penalty on Clarkston. Think he's gonna roll the dice? I would, if you'd gone this far. So big number eight, Frank Stanek's going to the sin bin. So the Dragons with a two-man advantage. Add the goalie pulled, that's a three-man advantage. You know, well, how often do you see that, Pat? Not a lot, I mean, you know, the Super Bowl's in Vegas this week. I can see if, if you're playing in Vegas, you know, wanna hedge your bet, but. <laughs> <laughs> this is something I've never seen. In all my years of watching hockey, six on three. With four minutes left in the second period. Cole has it at the point. Let's see, what I like Cole. is they're being very patient and picky about their Deniding shot. Deniding to Cole. You don't want to just... In the corner to take Chirini. A, take a bad shot because then it gives them a chance to get the puck. In. To Natavio. 
put it down the ice. Oh, that was oh, a good a shot. Nice shot through four guys yep. and went okay. wide. They get one back here. They get a guy back. Natavio picks it up, switches places with Cole, drops it for Cole. Cole nice. Cole with the Tristan oh. Rister. Off the back of the net. Deflected wide, off the back of the net with the rebound. Knighting. Oh, and, and they give and uh, Natavio oh, gives it away to Cole. On it. He fanned on the long shot. Could have put it in the net. Natavio almost loses. Look at this, his he's wide open. Here, Here he goes. goes. Two on oh. Yeah! All right. Go. Carter Knighting on the pass by Natavio in the neutral zone. Pat Saad, he's wide open. Bingo, bango, bongo. <laughs> Bingo, bango, bongo. And the Dragons are on the board. Coach Bader rolled the dice and uh, paid off. And it went to Carter Knighting, and he's got the he's the best shooter on the team, Pat. He had three slap shot goals the other night against Rochester. And I figured he was just going to wind up from the hash marks and blow it through him. So we're going to give Nick Batter an A-plus on that uh, power play, Pat, and the yep. timing of the timeout. And you're going to see Lake Orion's going to have a little bit more jump now in their, yep. in their stride. And number 24 for Clarkson just fires it high and wide off the netting. And that puck's going to come all the way out to the neutral zone for the faceoff. It should because it wasn't deflected by a dragon. That puck is, that faceoff is in the wrong spot. Okay. But we'll give him this one. Haynes in on the draw. Cherini on the ice. Haynes wins the draw. What to was the, that? To Basikow. He just gives the puck away, but Cherini... Full head of steam, one on four. Oh, and he gets hit in the head by the shoulder after he lost the puck. And he's able to get up and uh, Clarkson ices the puck. Who was the guy on the, our team, Pat, that had all the concussions? And Dylan was playing. Stockwell? Shane no. Stockwell? No. I'd have to text my son to ask him who it was. Okay. I think he had four in one year. When he was, you were gone by then. He was a senior. He had four concussions mm. and kept wanting to play. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a big deal these days. Dragons win the draw on a great shot by Dopke. and and Brady Damian number thirty for Clarkson makes a save off the draw. You know, Lake Orion's got a uh, a trainer on staff in case uh, they have to, you know, do some concussion protocol, protocol evaluation. Clarkson loses another draw to Austin Maines. He fires oh, it. It's oh, blocked, no. and this is not what you want. Is Cronston going oh, full blast? dopke has got the hook on him. Yeah. And I don't know what he's all mad about. He made a good play, and if you weren't a stop to one of their top players, you hook him. Yeah. I, it's I not a bad that, penalty. No, it wasn't a bad penalty. I think he was trying to get him to retaliate, you know, because he carried on a little bit after the play. Yeah, he did. But we saw the same thing. He made a good play. You have to put the hook on. That's a that's a guy who's got you by about six inches and twenty pounds. Yeah, I mean they're trying to keep keep the the game close, and that's what you got to do. Dragons lose a draw. Number thirteen for Clarkston dumps it into the corner. Cronston again with the puck. They're going to switch places. He's going to drop it for Wade. Wade's going to carry it around the net. Surprise. Mm -hmm. Back to Evan Adams on the point to Cronston. Cronston fires it. Nice save by Graham Downs, and the Dragons are able to clear on the backhander. Shirini going for a change. Dragons need to be a little more ready to get their man on the ice. Evan Adams carries it in deep. He's going to set up, hit the brakes. To number 21, Gavin Anderson again. To Adams. To Wade. To Cronston to Wade, but they lose control. And Cole's going to take it in. Number nine for Lake Orion. He gets bumped off the puck. And Gavin Anderson behind the net fighting Cole for it. Cole doing a nice job on the kill here, Pat. Real nice. And Conley doing a nice job down there as well. And the Clarkson's able to clear. And out comes the big fella, Cronston. Hits the brakes to Wade. Steps around Cole, unbelievable pass to Good number save. 21 and a great save by Graham Downs. 
Lost his goalie stick. Number 23, Troy Damien. Give him a stick, D-man. Well, he could get a penalty, I think, for that. He had two sticks in his hand. He could get a penalty. He didn't call it. <laughs> Number 13 for Clarkston. Kyle Lynch has it. Sets up behind the Dragons net. Oh. And nice two, save. Two great saves. All right. Off the Dragons' butt. Nice oh, nice. another great nice. save by Graham Downs. Oh, he's almost on his head. He just running around. He just lost his goalie over. stick again. And it comes oh, out of the it zone. It comes nice. out. And the Dragons are <laughs> unbelievable. Five seconds left. Two on the pen. The Dragons kill the penalty. Clarkston fires it high and wide. Dopke with the puck. He's going to be happy to just ice it. Yep. With 15 seconds left, he had plenty of time. That's where we kind of wish they'd communicate a little better on the ice and let them know, hey, you got time. Yeah, I, I, I get that, but I think Lake Orion was tired, you know, from the kill, and they just wanted, needed a line change. Oh, that's right. You can change lines on the ice. <laughs> ice they were pretty tired there. The other Wade on the draw wins it. Dragons gain control. Cherini puts it up. Now, in pro hockey, you wouldn't have been able right, to do that. Right, to Mains, and that will be the end of the second period. And the Dragons, Pat, have uh, pretty much tempered the storm a little bit here. Yeah. And it was a really good period of hockey to watch. Yep. Clarkson won that period 3 nothing. But, uh, so. you know, Dragons, Dragons are uh, representing themselves pretty well here against one of the top teams in the state that only has five losses. Yep. Um, and... Uh, hats off to Graham Downs, Lake Orion Dragons goaltender, who is absolutely having a masterful game, even though he's only he's given up four goals, Pat. Yeah, it's it's tough. I mean, I, I don't know what the shots are, but I'm sure he's seen over you 30. Know, 30 shots. So, well, 12.29 with the Zamboni spinning around here. So Pat and I will be back in about 12 minutes for third period action. Well, welcome back to the Great Skating Club for third period action. Lake Orion Dragons versus our rival, the Clarkston Wolves. One of the top ranked teams in the state has a four to one lead on the Dragons, Pat. And uh, we got 17 minutes of hockey left. What do you think we're gonna see here in period number three? Well, I hope they uh, just, you know, pick up where they left off and uh, keep, keep uh, fighting, clawing and scratching. You know, that's all they can do. Yeah, they're definitely outmatched tonight as far as skating, size, speed, skill. But, you know, they're, they've improved for sure from the first time we did the broadcast together to now. So the Dragons, just like you said, they got to just keep working it. Here we go. 17 minutes to play here in the game here at Detroit Skating Club. Haynes loses the draw. Clarkson gains control. Dumps it. Cronson dumps it all the way around. Net behind Graham Downs. Puck comes to Evan Adams. He dunks it deep. Carter Knighting, Dragons goal store. Can't seem to clear. To Evan Adams. Back across the point to number nine. Graham Downs stops that shot by Braden Wager. Wager keeps it in again. Dopke, or Haynes puts a whack on his guy. Comes out, pops free. Cole gives chase. But Adams a little too fast right there. And he's back to number nine, Brendan, Braden Wager. Pucks deflected up. Number 15, there's a cross check right in the middle of the rink by uh, Cronston on Natavio, and Natavio's all right. Mains gives the puck away. Lo Dopke loses control to number 21. He fires it, puck steered aside by Graham Downs. Back to the point for Clarkston, number 23. That puck goes off the side of the net. Number 23 for Clarkston. Damien keeps the puck in. He's fighting hard behind the net. Number 21, Gavin Anderson has it. Back to the point to Giannini. Clarkston still with control behind the net. Another save by Graham Downs. Puck fired wide by Clarkston. Giannini, defenseman takes it deep around Dragon's net. Natavio gives chase to 23. Back across to number 13. We haven't called his much name much tonight. Kyle Lynch in the corner. Cole Moises, the big fella, dumps it deep. 
Dragons are going to They're going to get an interference penalty in front of the net or a slash, most likely. And if the Dragons don't want to get mercyed out of here in the third period, Pat, they're going to have to be a little more disciplined than that. It's a cross check. I understand these frustration because I think uh, that was the Tavio is the one who got decked right at the blue line with the with uh, by the Clarkson player. Oh, now he just got a. Is either a five or a ten. Oh, uh, he probably got ten minute misconduct. So now what? Lake Orion's gonna have to put another player in the box. Yes. Mm. Tavio, let's see. He's a he's a junior. The Tavio, uh, I don't know. The, uh, you got to keep your mouth shut in these games because these officials don't take any guff from Nicolai high school kids. No. So he's 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 basically almost done for the game. Number five, Anderson, dumps it in behind the net. Adams, I'm sorry. Dragons or Clark's on the power play. Number 21, he fires it. That puck is blocked by Tharber. Wade has it, number 14, to Adams. Wrist shot, goes nice off job, the rear nice end job. of the Clarkston player. Oh, and, and Tharber's not able to clear, loses control. Cronston has it to Wade. That's one thing that to used Adams. to drive me nuts as a coach is. To Wade. Instead of to trying Cronston to. to Wade. And that was a play. Yep. From Cronston to Wade to Cronston to Wade, so and then scored left of Graham Downs. Go ahead, Pat. What I was going to say is he had time and a little bit of space, but if he would have went to his forehand, he would have had a much better chance of getting that puck cleared. Instead, he he kind of fanned on his backhand, turnover, resulted in a goal in the back of the net. Yeah. So. I think in these games like this, Pat, you, they end up panicking and they want to get rid of the puck so fast they don't yeah. realize they have time. Yeah. Number 22 for Clarkston, Ronan Howard has it, another big guy. Puts his shoulder down, gets around Vasikow, puck comes clear. See how he went to the backhand and he nothing went to happened? The back, <laughs> right, not exactly. It's, Two backhands, one by each color team, and it didn't work either way. Yep. In comes number seven, and uh. there's a goal. Graham Downs couldn't get his stick back. That was just another giveaway by the Dragons. They lost control, and Logan Golub with his second goal of the night, and I can tell you what's going to happen in the next 13.55. How many points does Mr. Golub have there, Pat? Mm. Got that? Do you have that? Yeah. For Clarkston? Golub, I do not see on the list. Number, number seven. seven Golub, number 22, He's not one of their top uh, okay. scorers or point leaders. Number 16, Quinn Farrell for Clarkston, a seldom used forward tonight. Puts it on net and Graham Downs holds on. Well, I can tell you what's going to happen in this period now. With Golub with two goals, they're going to do everything in their power to get him that hat. Last call for the 50-50. 84 bucks. Who wants it? Come on, you guys are up six to one. Come on over here and kick to the cause. Here we go, Connolly in front. Nice, nice, oh, nice, nice play by Connolly. And and who was that? Number okay, 16. Number. Wooded couldn't get control and, 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 and steer it in. 23, Trey Damien dumps it deep again. Winning number, nine, number 12, Brendan Rodgers, Rhodes has it for Clarkston. That's going to go back. To, he's going to walk the blue line. 12. Rhodes fires it on net. And Wade, number 10, puts it right into the pads of Graham down. It was almost 7-1 to one there, Pat. Yeah, I think one thing, if I was uh, the Clarkson's coach, I, I, I'd be wanting a lot more shots low instead of high and wide. Because, as you can see, they, they can result in a, a rebound type, type opportunity. Big number eight, Frank Stanek on the draw. He wins it to Cranston. To Cranston. 
Evan Adams, D-man, goes deep. Puts it right on Wade's stick. Sorry, Cranston's stick. Wade gives chase in the corner. Dragons, number 44, Tharber has it. He whips it around, but Cranston for Clarkston picks it up. Austin Maines just took another penalty, holding. So Dragons are going to go back on the, on the penalty kill. Cronston has it. Clarkson pulls the goaltender for the extra attacker to Wade. Number nine for Clarkston. Wager loses his footing, and Dragons are able to touch up. And 12.30 left here in the third period. Clarkston with a convincing 6-1 to one advantage over the Lake Orion Dragons. And the Dragons, once again, are going on the penalty kill, Pat. Yeah. You know, I, I, I think... I think Clarkson's definitely, are, you know, definitely good, but uh, you know, I don't think they have what it takes to go all the way. I mean, uh, they 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 still have a lot of room for improvement. Yep, they're, but they're the best team we've seen, I think, for, right. by far in the OAA. Yep. And if you, a lot of hard work by Cole on the kill here, he was able to poke the puck away from. Number 17 for Clarkston, Brian Wilford. And Clarkston carries it, dumps it in, gives chase. Pass a cow on the backhand. Like you said, Pat took it off the backhand onto the forehand like he should have. Cole gets stepped into. Puck comes clear. Cross to number eight for Clarkston, or number six. The big guy. High and wide. High and wide. That was Moises took that shot. And Trey Damien for Clarkson has it and races through the neutral zone. He's going to step around Dopke, take it behind the net. To the man in the slot, doesn't get control. And there's Mr. Wade, number 14, with the puck once again. 53 seconds on the power play for Clarkson as Wade's got a full head of steam through the neutral zone. He's going to walk around Christensen. He's going to go in. He's going to regroup, get control, go across the blue line. Zippity Duda to Cronston on the one timer. Nice save by, by a Graham Downs to Wade. To Adams. To Gavin Anderson. Back to Wade. Back to Adams. To Wade. Wade to Cronston to Wade. Backhander can't get control. Wade again wins the, wins the battle. To Anderson. Anderson back to Adams on the blue line. Backhand pass to Anderson. He gets control again to Wade on the blue line. Wade with a twisted wrister. <laughs> Off Graham Downs, and the rebound stopped see, again. I see, I don't see any, any sort of play there at all. They were just freewheeling it. And I think at this point in the season, you've got to have certain set plays, and those need to be dialed in. Especially on the power play like that. I mean, they got guys that can, that can handle the puck. There was a lot of nothing there. Clarkson wins the draw. Puck comes to the front of the net. Everybody's fighting for it. Graham Downs is down. Puck squirts free, but the whistle's blown. It's come dead. Face off left of number 29 for Lake Orion. Penalty is over. Dragons top line back on the ice here. Cole on the draw, loses it again. Off the draw, great save. Off the shot by Ron, Ronan Howard. Graham Downs is, uh, he's given up six goals, Pat, but he's the number one star of this hockey game. For sure. That's a big, big hit by Johnny Walker. No call. And Dragons just cleared off the boards. It kind of looked like an elbow to me, but. Uh, Basikow's down and. I think the refs are going to talk about it here. See what they saw. It's funny because at the beginning of last year when they had the rules. <laughs> A little I know. When they, when, they had, <laughs> when they had the rules changed, you couldn't hit anybody. In this, year, in this game, I've seen more body checks, and, and this is the most body checks I've seen in a high school game without penalties in quite a long time. That's good to see. Yeah, it is. It could be because they're rivals, right? It didn't they, stop them last year from calling a penalty every time somebody touched somebody. Okay. 
Natavio just gives the puck away to number nine. Dopke loses control. And who is that number 13 for the Dragons? Max Neal, I think this is his first shift. And 13 and 13 go to battle. 13, Kyle Lynch wins the battle against the Dragons. Oh, it's number 12, sorry about that. Cross, cross blue line pass to Wilford, number 17. Puck comes free. Dumped to the corner, Max Neal. Dopke gets dumped by number nine, Brandon Wager. Brendan Rhodes has it. He walks right through the high slot. Wade has it, but loses control. And Sullivan has it. Dumps the puck to Witted. Clarkson gains control. Now lose control to Sullivan. He's got it. To Tharber. And he just gives it away in the neutral zone to Clarkston, who dumps it deep on the line change. Big number eight for Clarkston. He's going to win the race. Frank Stanek, he knocks down his Dragons player. Dopke up the middle. Nobody's home. They're going to wave good. off the icing. Yeah. That's a good wave off. Vinny Giannini up the boards to number eight. Frank Stanek, the giant. Haynes is nailed and knocked down. They're just stronger, Pat. Oh, yeah. In every aspect of the game, they're just stronger. Bigger, stronger, faster. Well, when Lake Orion gets the puck, they don't they, they jump right on you. So they don't give you time and space. Which is hard to do out here on the um, big sheet. Right. Tharber loses control. Cronston wins that battle. Tharber puts his elbow up in Cronston's face. Doesn't seem to bother big number three for Clarkston. He wheels around to Wade. Wade steps around Sullivan, fires it off. Graham Downs, another fine save. I think he stopped 40, or seen 40. Puck goes around to Tharber. Tharber's hit hard. Now that's going to be a penalty on Cronston. And they're going to call that an elbow or a rough or a boarding or something. So, Cronston has had a pretty strong game. Um, quite honestly, it's if he doesn't extend his arms, it's not a penalty, Pat. Yeah, uh, Bader, Nick, Nick Bader is not happy. I think he just got ejected. He did. So that means Lake Orion's going to get an additional penalty. So I think Clarkson had, Lake Orion had the power play, and now I think it's going to be... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's going to be even up. Yeah, it's going to be even. He he just got ejected, and I don't even know if that's a uh, going to be misconduct and puts a guy in the box. I it's, don't believe it It should does. just be a two-minute. Yeah, it'll put the guy in the box, I believe. I, I know that for a fact. Well, we'll see if they know the rules. No, I... Because you've been tossed before? Not tossed, but I've had bench minors. Yeah, I, if it's a bench minor, maybe he just got a misconduct. But, yeah, he, he did get tossed, so. Uh, he probably just got a misconduct and not a bench minor, then he wouldn't be short a man. But our Price tall officials, the one made the call here. Owen Frosten, two is for roughing. Lake Orion penalty, bench minor. Ooh. On coach batter, penalty is served by Thurber. And the penalties. Yeah, it's even up. Bench minor to game misconduct because he's More gone. Than that, yeah. up, I got a new ticket for you because we couldn't find an original ticket. Get your tickets out. You still might have a chance to win 84 bucks. The number is 948. So we're four on four here, Pat. No, we're five, five on five. five. Yep. I don't like to call a roughing. I'd like to rather see the boarding call. But two minutes is two minutes, I guess. Clarkson has control, puts it in. Now coaching for Lake Orion, Matt Ellis. Making his Lake Orion debut. Um, why is that relevant? I don't know. I've never heard that be announced before like that. It shouldn't be. <laughs> he wasn't not coaching before, was he? No. <laughs> it's one. If you brought him out of the stands, maybe, and, you know, now coaching, uh, but he's already on the bench. Yeah. 
they introduced him in the beginning of the game. Adams loses control, but Clarks is able to put the shot on Graham Downs, number 13, Lynch. Nice shot, nice save by Downs. Kind of losing focus here. Lynch with the puck again. To Gavin Anderson, nice and another save by Graham Downs. You know, I'm a little nervous for next year because uh, Lake Orion has two senior goalies. Well, as we talked about before the game, Pat, in our little uh, pre-game prep session, you have to recruit in the summertime. For your summer program, you gotta get to these travel players and let them know that it's important to play for the pride of their school. Yep, And I if, agree. You, if you don't, you're gonna end up with kids that are good hockey players, but they're not they're not at the level, you know, travel players that that can get you to the win a game or two in the state playoffs. Yeah, that that's what the what was the difference the the year we went all the way to the semis is uh, we had a lot of good travel hockey players on our team that had played together, you know, at the youth level. So they had a lot of chemistry. Right, and it, and that and that went a few years, you know, quite a few years after you were had retired from, after uh, you got fired. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> after you went a different direction. Yeah, if you don't have the time, you can't really do it. it right. It, it takes a lot of time. And the Dragons are just uh, reeling here, uh, sitting on their heels. Uh, 6.20 left. Cole behind the net with the puck, his own net. Loses control to number 22 for Clarkston. Carter Knighting tries to bump him down, and Knighting gets the worst of that battle. Now, my question is, is can Coach Bader still watch the game from the from the corner? Uh, I think he can because they're not seeing him there. Is he there? I think so. I'm no, not... he's in the locker room. Well, that's not fun. <laughs> that's not far. <laughs> no, that's not fun. Oh, okay. Here's the guy with two goals, Gallup. Galoob. And Dragons are able to clear out to the neutral zone. Number 17 for Clarkson. Ryan Wilfer makes a nice move. He's going to go in. That puck's going off to stick a mains in the corner. Number 10. Over to Clarkson. Number 23 fires it high and wide. Trey Damien. And who's going in hard? Oh, Doherty. I think that was Doherty or Sullivan had a whipped guy on with it, him. bounced over his stick, had a guy with him, didn't make the pass. I think it's just a bad bounce there. And Brown loses control to Clarkston, number 16 for Clarkston. Can't seem to put it on net. Went for a stretch pass for Dopke, and it went on the Clarkston player's stick. What are we getting here? Well, I know one thing, uh, Mr. Downs is going to sleep well tonight. Yeah. Seen a lot of action. A lot of rubber. Yep. But Look at him. He's <laughs> leaning on the he's leaning on the crossbar now. But he's playing very well. He is. I think we might have to go down the locker room and interrupt him and congratulate him on his game. What do you think, Pat? <laughs> I wins. don't know. He, he might not be happy. Clarkston wins the draw. Full head of steam for Clarkson, number 19. And Johnny Walker loses the puck. And Mains gets smashed, and they're going to call a boarding or a charge on number 19. Johnny Walker, and Lake Oregon's going to go on the power play. 4.29 left. Gonna call that an elbow. I'll go with that. But you know, if Clarkston wants to go somewhere in the state playoffs, this is how Clarkson they're going to have to play. 19, Johnny Walker. Elbowing. Yeah, I think they're going to do That's well. I just don't think they have what it takes to beat CC or a Brighton, because you know those are three of their losses right there. Yeah, Brighton always seems to put a team together, don't they? Oh yeah, they're well coached. And they pull from and they pull from two or three different travel programs. 
from Howell. They pull from Howell. They pull from Ken, Huck, Kensington. Hartland, Ice yeah, Hartland, Hartland, Ice. Yeah. I mean, they pull from that those programs. So they're just oh, off the draw. Puck goes wide of Graham down. Number 21 for Clarkston fires at Gavin Anderson wide again. Adams, who's had a super strong game, number five for Clarkston, has the puck in the neutral zone on the kill. Going to sit there, take a little rest. He'll fire it over off to Braden Wager, who's going to put it all the way down the rink. And Carter Knighting's going to give chase. Set up for the Dragons behind his own net. And lose the puck. Cole picks it up. Going to set up for the Dragons on the, penalty, on the power play. One on three here. Cole steps around the, the Clarkston player. Puck picked up by Connolly and dumped back to Natavio. Loses control. Connolly steps right over it. Number 16, Quinn Farrell. Fires it on. Graham Downs falls right on the stick of an uncovered man. And a shorthanded goal for Clarkston is number six, I believe. Yep. Well, they put it on net and got the rebound. Yep. That's what yep. I've been talking about. You can't shoot it high and wide. Yep. George Walker standing there. That puck came off the rebound, came right off Graham Downs. And uh, how do you end up with two guys in the offensive zone on the penalty kill on the well, power play? They, you know, they gave uh, they gave it up like right around that blue line area. A lot of guys were standing still. Austin Maines dumps it deep. Dragon still on the power play for 43 seconds. We're going to wave off the icing as that went by Natavio, but off the stick of uh, him. Natavio to number 16, Witted. Witted's going to carry it deep, lose control to Clarkson's number 17, who puts it around to Maines. Maines keeps it in. But Witted, but uh, Sol uh, Christensen can't gain control. Puck shot wide by Maines. Can't be kept in by Natavio. And number six for Clarkston, George Walker, who just scored the goals, got the puck. He puts it right in the middle of the rink. Natavio loses it. But Christensen makes a nice play to Natavio. Natavio fires it. And... Damien for Clarkston makes the save on a nice play by the fourth liner, Christensen, Pat. I think he he made a nice play, took three Clarkston players with him and gave the puck up. Yep. As a, that was a decent quality scoring chance, but it was right, right in the belly of the uh, Clarkston goalie there. Wasn't a particularly tough save to make. Nah, that might have been his sixth shot he faced today, though. <laughs> Right. Kyle Lynch for Clarkston carries it in. Nice save again by Graham Downs. To the neutral zone, number 23 has it. Cole picks it up. He steps around his Clarkston player. One on one. Nice. Oh, off the off crossbar. The, oh, nice shot. Nice shot by Cole. He had him beat. He did. Chirini had control. He lost it. Picks up the puck. Nope, loses it to number 21, Gavin Anderson. Back to 13. Gavin Anderson going, giving chase. He picks the puck up off of Tharber. Comes clear to Connolly. And the puck's out to the neutral zone. Gavin Anderson with control. To Trey Damien. Number 23. Tharber backing up. Puck off the side of the net of Graham Downs. And number eight for Clarkston. Number nine, Cole, puts it behind the net. To Basikow. Cole's giving battle number seven to Galoob. Trying to get Galoob that hattie, but he hasn't played that much in the third. I'm surprised with two goals. Tharber keep pushing Ronan Howard around, but Howard still with the puck. Across to Braden Wager, fires it wide. Puck comes off the magnets, moorings. You mean the net? Oh, yeah, net comes <laughs> off the whatever. I'm, it's getting late. Well, Mr. Cole might have played his last shift for Lake Orion as a Dragon. He's a senior and uh, one of their better players. So he'll be missed next year. Yeah, he will. And uh, senior Ryan Basco on the ice also. Is this their last game, Pat? 
Uh, no, I'm sorry. I, I believe they have uh, a couple left. Number 22 for Clarkson, Ronan Howard has the puck, loses it to Baskow. Baskow behind his own net for Lake Orion. Goes to clear. That puck squirts past Doherty. Sullivan gives chase. Adams, number five for Clarkson, super strong game. Down to the last 25 seconds here at Detroit Skating Club. And Clarkson picks the puck up, gets it out to the neutral zone. And number 22 for Clarkson, Ronan Howard, one last rush here for Clarkson. Galoob in front. Galoob back behind the net. He's going to go for the Hattie. Doesn't get it. And Graham Down's going to hold on with 3.7 left here. <laughs> they really let that clock run. A couple sure did. extra seconds. I, it was 2.7 <laughs> now. When I looked at it, it was 3.7. Uh, exactly, yeah. And uh, so. I don't think Clarkson's going to complain. Well, Pat. Great game here tonight for the Clarkston Wolves. Lake Orion, I thought, uh, did a real nice job in the first period getting out of there 0 0. And, uh, you know, the Dragons did get a goal on a real cool play by Coach Batter, pulling the goaltender. Yeah, that was interesting. But uh, the stars tonight for me are definitely Graham Downs and the Dragons. And number five, Adams for Clarkston, I thought, and number three for Clarkston were outstanding. Well, one of the stars for me was uh, sharing the booth with you. Uh, you're all right, Pat. You do a good job, and uh, Thanks, hopefully man. you'll be back next year. Well, I appreciate you doing this. It took me a couple years to find somebody just so happy to be coming out here to do this yes. as the uh, number two guy in the booth or the number one, one A in the booth. So tonight, once again, seven goals for the Clarkston Wolves, one for Lake Orion Dragons, and... Good night, everyone. Safe travels home, and good night from Detroit Skating Club. And we'll talk to you next time. This will be our last broadcast in 2024. In the spring of 2024, we'll see you in the fall. Thank you.